Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Underrail Expedition with me, Bring It Dawn. So we need to go get this key card from Elwood, and I have no pickpocketing, and I have no stealth. So, I'm gonna try and talk to him. Maybe I can intimidate him into giving it to me? Not you again. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Uh, hey, are you Elwood? Someone wants to see you outside. Tell him I'm busy. Well, she says it's really important that you should see her straight away. She's waiting by that green gas tank near the side entrance. Hey, leave me alone, will ya? I'm busy here. Fine, I'll leave, I'll leave you to it then. He gives you a thumbs up and returns to what he was doing. Alright, so... If that's the case, I'm gonna follow him around. If I can find him isolated, I'm gonna try and kill him. Alright, he keeps... Alright, if he goes through here by himself, I think... Quick saving real quick, I can kill him. And this... I don't think anyone else will hear that because I don't have a firearm. Yeah, no one yelled. Health hypo, key card. All right, loaded dice, we've already talked about. Oh no, someone's been a naughty gambler. We haven't seen that yet. So one experience, so level up. Scrapper insignia, crudely crafted insignia worn by the members of Scrapper's organization of Junkyard. This gives us two experience. And the health hypo, we got the key card and some other miscellaneous loot. But yeah, no one else is hostile. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and level up then. Up my melee. Oh yeah, I did craft a spear off camera. I didn't craft any riot gear. I didn't have everything I needed for it. But I crafted a new spear. It has, I think, one higher minimum damage, and it might be two higher maximum damage. Or just one higher maximum damage. I'm not 100%. Alright, let's return this back to, I think, Eddie it was his name. And I'm curious about who's going to get hot or get mad if I try to open up these doors as well. Uh, so I think I'm going to try and break into these doors anyway. Let's see, this one doesn't have... But it requires a high lock picking. So if I go over here, though... It's just the thugs. I'm not too worried about the thugs. If they all continue to stand there, I'm gonna hit them all with a grenade, including myself. Because I can take the damage, they cannot. But they are gonna heal up this turn. Just be a little annoying. Might spread into this building. Well, let me go there. That'll force him to me at least. Yeah. It's like, oh, he didn't heal up. Sweet. Oh, none of me healing up. Okay. Well, then they're all dead. You guys messed up. <laughs> Yeah, I feel bad about killing a bunch of thugs. Uh, I do plan on siding with the black eels in the end, because uh, the way I'm thinking about it is they control the uh, the waterways. They they control the docks, so I think they actually hold more power than the scrappers. Plus, between the two, the scrappers have a lamer name. They call the scrappers. It sounds like Scrappy Doo, and um, yeah, black eel sounds a little more intimidating. So thugs hold the peace in this area. By that I mean they punish you for breaking the the rules, which I'm not really worried about. So that tells me I can do whatever I want in this area. Curiosity got the better of me. I can't lockpick this door, but this one. 25, let's do it. Alright, so he's hostile. That's fine. I'm gonna yell, reduce his uh, offensive capabilities. And 
Next turn, he should be dead. Yeah, he's critting me for five. He has, he has no chance. You must feel sorry for me. <laughs> All right. Some more stuff I can sell. Let's get in here. Visor, this toughened glass visor is using constructing a helmet. How oh, sweet. Scrapture, clearly constructed, clearly a constructed sculpture made of scrap. What could it mean? Oh, I've already read that. Alright, cool. More experience. I'm glad I came in here. Found me an oddity. Alright, so I could fight these thugs, or I could circle around to this side and see about going into this building from here. I don't think these guys, I mean, they just called thugs, and I called like scrapper thugs, or whatever. Now, these guys might turn hostile, so I will quick save. I don't want to make the scrappers angry at me yet. 50 lock picking, I think if I equip this, I should have enough to get inside. Yeah. Nice right, quick save before we do anything dumb. Alright, cool, yeah, they're not hostile. Sweet. And I'm out of combat. Let's close that up so no one comes up behind me. And some junk. Frag grenade is always welcome. Nothing in there but some shelves. Another scrapture. Some more XP. Alright. Nothing there but a locker. And a Molotov cocktail. Awesome. I'm actually going to bandage myself up to full here. So if I walk out here, I'm assuming these other thugs are going to become hostile. And they didn't. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go talk to Eddie. <laughs> Turn in this quest. I'm really curious what's in that other building with 85 lockpick required. I should probably... Yeah, this one. Okay. Alright, I'm actually gonna see if I can sell anything to Len real quick, because I picked up a good chunk of stuff there. Let's see, you want some firearm parts. I'm thinking about the riot gear here, because that'll help if I go back and fight the siphoners. The only downside is it doesn't give me enough armor penalty to uh, utilize Juggernaut. And even with that, and say this, that's only 44%. You need 50%. This gives me 65%. Um, this might be worth purchasing for the uh, siphoners. But we'll worry about that later. I didn't have the resources I needed to craft the uh, the riot gear that I wanted. Or any riot gear. I'm missing a uh, ballistic plate. Or ballistic panel. Alright, Eddie, are you back in here or are you still back? Are you still back this way? What's up, Eddie? Uh, yeah? I got Elwood's keycard. Give him the keycard. 
Very good. And what about Elwood? I had to ice him, I'm afraid. Too bad. I was hoping to do that myself at some point. But never mind. Okay, here's what you do next. Go to the back alley north of the tavern and find Elwood's house. It won't be hard to spot. It's the only one with, a dec with decent walls and electronic lock. I need you to retrieve something from there. Alright, and what's that? I need you to find something that resembles a disc. It's dark green and rough on the surface, and it's made of something that's not quite stone and not quite metal. It's kind of hard to describe, but you'll know when you f but you'll know when you find it. Trust me. Fine, but after this, I get access to the to the depot A, right? Yeah, my word. Good hunting. Oh, and just one more thing. Uh, from what I've gathered, I would used to be pretty good with mines, so watch your step in there. Great. I'm not good with traps. I guess it's gonna be trial and error. I wonder if I throw a frag grenade in there if it'll destroy all the traps. Where is it? This one? And I said north, so this is the tavern. So north of the tavern is over here. I've been in most of the buildings now. Is it the... There's this building that I haven't been in. I've been in the rest of them. Oh, maybe it's this one. I wonder if the scrapper thugs gonna get mad at me for trying to open the door. I just want to peek inside and see what's in here, bud. I don't want to actually fight you. Alright, whatever. I won't worry about that right now. Alright, then where the heck do I go for Elwood's house? So that's not Elwood's house, otherwise I, I doubt it'd be guarded by the people that want me to rob from him. So I'm assuming Elwood is associated with the Black Eels in some capacity. Let me read my note real quick. Elwood's key card to enter his house in the back alley north of the tavern and search for a strange disc shaped object. Alright, let's go back out here to the tavern. Maybe it's in this area. There's an actual, like, back alley back here. That I missed. And maybe I can go back here? Oh my goodness, you can. That's well hidden. That, okay. I could see where people would have trouble finding that. That's, uh... Okay. A handful of places back here. Locked? Does that mean I can't lockpick it? Probably is what that means. Impossible. Then what the heck? They're all locked. Do I need to actually use the key card? I haven't had to use any keys up to this point, so it'd be weird if I had to. I have it in my inventory. Am I missing something else in this area? Maybe it's down. Oh, here we go. Alright, so supposedly I gotta watch out for mines. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm gonna play it a little safe. I'm gonna park over. I'm gonna throw a grenade in here. Screw it. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm gonna quick save and I'm gonna walk in like a man. I don't have enough lock picking for this. But with the Mark II lock picks, I might. So we'll try that. Uh, under tools. Inspection skill, even with that, that gives me plus five, right? Fifty-one, fifty-six, but then with this, this gives me increased by seven. I don't know if it stacks then. 
because it's 56 plus this. Should be 63. Okay, well, lame. Just waiting to get blown to smithereens. I have this Omni tool. Might save me from some of the mines since I don't have the uh Oh he's got sentry bots, cool. Usually not a threat, so I'm not too worried about it. But if they have mines nearby. Well, and if they incapacitate me like that. Oh, he has a ton of sentry bots, that's fine. They don't do any damage to me. Um, can I swap out? Let's dance. Not enough action points. Okay. I don't think yelling actually does it. Yeah. Because they're not organic enemies. There's no reason they would be affected by, uh. by someone yelling at them. You guys are tutorial level enemies. I am not concerned about you goofballs. Alright, he did do some damage to me. Shaking in my boots. Hey. Of course. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy Oblivion, robot. Another registration plate. Another 1 XP. So what I should probably do... Instead of risking running into these mines is, uh... Hacking 60. Up to 47 with this device, but then I have... I will try it. See what happens. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, uh, I guess we'll go in... Ventilation shafts. So it's quite the house that he has. So this is the room that I couldn't hack into. We'll go in there later. I saw shelves in this other room. Reinforced right hand leather. Uh, stealth increased, persuasion decreased. Whatever. Strange comm device. Looks like some sort of communication device, though you're unsure how it's used since it only has one button. Since it's already broken, you might as well take it apart and find out. 
One XP. I'll take it. Nope, I'm not gonna risk going into any mines here. I'm gonna go this way. I take that guy's warning seriously. He probably has mines in his bedroom, so let's uh, let's play it safe. Reminds me, there's uh, in Fallout 3. Uh, the first time I played Fallout 3, I never once got the um, any player houses. Never got a house, so I know where to store all my stuff. But if you drop all of your weapons and stuff inside of a, uh, not in the overworld, but inside of one of the dungeons in the game. They'll stay there, and so when I... When I finally opened up the, uh, the National Guard Depot. Plasma pistol. It's powered by a plasma core. Mysterious disc. This mysterious dark green disc uh, shaped item is about the size of a dining plate. The surface is coarse, but you feel very comfortable holding it. It might be made of stone or metal, but it's not cold to the touch, and it's surprisingly light. In a biotechnician suit, so sweet. I try to say sweet and cool at the same time. It came out almost as soul. So now I can have up to 70% bio resistance. All right, let's get out of here. The safe way. But yeah, I found the National Guard Depot, and um, it's the one where when you go there, every time you spawn in or fast travel there, there'll be like uh, enclave and raiders fighting. But yeah, I, I, hey, there's a mine that I missed the first time through. <laughs> Yay! Uh, basically, I went down to the bottom area where it's just it's filled with radiation it's uh, a lot of radiation down there but I, I I take like a rad X or whatever and I'd put all my stuff down in the uh, that bottom area and then you know the entire path there I put a bunch of like mines and stuff along the way you know role-playing like oh someone's gonna try and break into my armory but no one don't no avoid obviously yeah, I have a player house. So I just threw all my weapons inside of the National Guard Depot down in the uh, radiation filled bunker, I guess, at the bottom. Yeah? I found the disc. Here you go. Give him the mysterious disc. Haha, -ha. I know you can pull it off. Good job. I'll let the guards know you're allowed to pass into Old Depot A. Just go through the back door over there in the HQ and turn right. I could use someone like you for another job if you're up for it. Come and see me later. Alright, so he wants me to do another job. I'm gonna go talk to Silas, I think is his name. The leader of the Black Eels. And, um, see if he has any jobs for me. Before we go into Depot A, of course. Quick save and talk to him. You again. Uh, tell me about the Black Eels. Are you the head honcho? Yeah, we already talked about all that. Okay. I guess that's not who I need to talk to. I'll go back and talk to uh, Eddie again. Because I know there's a, there's a conflict, so maybe if I talk to Eddie, he'll be like, Hey, go figure this out from the Black Eels, then maybe you can rat him out to the Black Eels. I, I don't know how it's going to play out yet. But I've already locked myself out of doing Black Eels quests. Oh well, I'll side with the Scrappers. So I just kind of fell blindly into it. Oh, 
Uh, yeah? Let's see. You mentioned you had some more work for me. Yeah, since you're heading to the old junkyard anyway, there's something you could help me with. A while back, it came to my attention that, without my permission, the eels have been slithering their way into the old junkyard. I want you to find out how they're doing this. There's probably a back entrance somewhere we don't know of. I'll pay you 200 charons if you find it. You up for this? Uh, sure, I'll get to the bottom of this. Great, let me know if you find out anything. Alright, let's go talk to the Black Eels again, since we are just there. I'm going to try and do all the questing that I can do in the junkyard before I head to the, uh, the depot. Then I head to the depot and, you know, yada yada. Alright, we'll talk to Silas. If Silas doesn't tell us anything, I can talk to, I guess, the uh, merchant that's over here, or wherever he's at. There we go, that guy. His name's Colton. Okay, so we read all that up to this point. Uh, there's, there's still lots of valuable junk there, though. The so scrappers still make raids there. They don't let any. They don't let many other folk get in, though. That's the problem, you see. Those bastards controlled the gate. It's in their freaking base. So there's no other way in. He lowers his voice as he looks about. Now, I didn't say that. You know what they say. Where there's will, there's a way. If you absolutely need that armadillo part, the Black Eels might be able to help you. How so? Talk to Silas, the dock master. Tell him Colton sent you that you're interested in the wormhole. He'll tell you more about it. Okay. You again. I'm here about the wormhole. Colton said you're the man to talk to. You look green, boy. What you need the wormhole for? You got a death wish? I'm looking for something specific I can't find on the market. Must be something special if it's worth risking your hide. The wormhole can get you in and out, but it's gonna cost you. How much? Usually I ask for money, but I got another deal for you, if you're interested. Uh, let's hear it. I need someone to solve a couple of problems for me. Maybe get his hands dirty in the process. Dig what I mean? It shouldn't take you too long, and you might even earn some shares on the side as well. Sounding good so far? Yeah, go on. There's a guy that owes me a hefty amount of coins. And not only that, but he's also late on his protection money. I don't think he's got it though. But shake him down, see if he has something else of value. If not, well, we still gotta send a message what happens when you try to swindle the Black Eels, right? So you up for this? Yeah, sounds like fun. Excellent. The guy's name the guy's name's Grover. He lives in a shack just north of the tavern, right next to Lens Shop. Get him to pay up one hundred sharons. Pay up one hundred sharons he owes me, or something of equal value. If he can't pay up, bring me his ugly head. Alright, well I know where Grover's at. I tried talking to him before. But I think his face was being described as like stone, so maybe we can't get anything out of him. Alright, so now we've started, the, I guess, the Black Eels quest line, which is what I'll do. So I could, I think, go back and talk to the Scrappers about the wormhole. Might actually have to figure out, like, see it first. I don't know if that's required. I'm not going to tell the Scrappers. So I think that'll lock me out of the, uh, the Black Eels quest line. The man greets you with a face as expressive as a rock wall. Okay, rock wall. He glances at you, then speaks. I ain't in the mood to chat. I'm here for Doc Master's money. Uh, money Grover, so pony up. His expression remains unchanged. Look, I told Silas already. I just don't have any money right now. I'll pay him back as soon as I can. And when's that? I don't know. Uh, soon, I think. Yeah, that's not good enough, Grover. He stares at you. After a few seconds, his expression slowly begins to break. I'll... I'll have it real soon. I promise. I promise. Alright, uh... Any last words, Grover? At this point, his expression completely shatters. Wait, wait, don't kill me. I ain't got the coins, but I can. I can help you get them. More than I owe, I swear. It'll be worth your while, I promise. Uh, speak quickly. Teresa? Everyone thinks she's poor, but that's not true. She's got this energy core device with her she showed me once. It's gotta be worth at least a couple hundred charons. I don't know why she keeps it instead of selling it. She's completely derailed, you know. 
like one of them lunatics, yeah. He smiles, but the smile quickly dies down. I can, yeah. I can lure it back to the back alley behind my house. And you can come and snatch it. That'd repay my debts, right? Hmm, that's not a bad idea, actually. If the core is worth enough money, you're off the hook. He breathes a huge sigh of relief, and an inescapable smile resurfaces on his face. Oh, thank you. I'll go find her right now. Come meet us in the back alley behind my house soon. Alright, let's go take care of that, I guess. I guess right here. It's funny how both uh, quest lines take you to this back alley. Get lost. Hey, this is my friend Teresa I was telling you about. The woman frowns at your presence. Grover, what's the deal here? Who's this guy? I could turn on Grover if I wanted. Alright, Teresa, give me the energy core and you can just walk away. Grover, you slimy good for nothing. You'll pay for this. No way. We gotta do her in or the scrappers will come after us. She's their client. Should have said so earlier. Sorry, Teresa. Guess you can't walk away after all. Attack Teresa. Hey there, Grover. <laughs> Grover might die here. <laughs> no, alright, I saved his life. Plasma core, some other stuff. Alright. Good work, man. We're done now, yeah? Alright, yeah. We're done. Thanks a lot, Jack. I'd buy you a drink, but, you know, I'm kind of broken off. Yeah, I do know. So I'm assuming I could just go give the plasma core to him, or do I need to sell it and then give him the money? I don't know. I go talk to, go talk to Silas and figure it out that way. Yeah? About that Grover guy. Did you handle the situation? Yeah, I got him to pay up. Here's the money. Give him 100 Stygian coins. Excellent. Don't care for the details, just the money. He chuckles. Good job. Uh, so what's the other thing you want done? Go talk to Captain Broderick there at the wharf. He was transporting some cargo for us when the earthquake started and a big wave knocked some of it off the boat. He thinks he knows where it might have washed up, though. I'll ferry you over there to look for it. Why doesn't he look for it himself? No clue. Some nonsense about the island being cursed. You know how superstitious sailors can be. Alright, I'll do it. Excellent. Talk to Broderick when you're good to go. Alright, I'm going to call the episode here. In the next one, we'll sail with Broderick to the cursed island. I'm going to try and deal with some inventory management off camera. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.